Hi everyone, welcome back to this video tutorial on QBasic programming language. So, in this video tutorial, I will be looking at these statements like rem in order to give comments to the program, co and st statement that is used to declare a constant variable that will not be changed during the execution of the program and we'll be discussing how read data statement is used as well as the same for the restore statement so let me begin first statement is rem rem statement is used to provide remarks or some comments to the program like what the com what the program is about and how each and every code executes just for a very simple program it doesn't seem quite necessary while for a very large program you will require this statement very constantly or very frequently so let me say to calculate area of rectangle so this way the program is very clear whoever looks at this code of program here she will be very clear that the program is about calculating the area of rectangle so cls input l comma b now again here uh, you can tell the user what l and b actually are means you haven't you haven't completely written what L and B are means we haven't written input into length of rectangle, input into breadth of rectangle. So in that case, you can give remarks again. That single apostrophe is used for giving remarks as well. You can you shall not always write REM statement for that. So we can say that L and B are length and breadth of rectangles so as you can see this is very very easier way means you can insert your comment anywhere in the program there is no such rules that rem must always be at the beginning line only so this is a very important statement as well so you must have understood what this means so uh, let me do a little change here in this uh, rem statement means I am going to find the area of circle now and for that you will require uh, the user to put some values over radius this time not length and breadth now I'm going to make you know next command that is CONST it is a command used to declare symbolic constant in any program means the kind of constant which value is not going to be changed during the execution of the program like you require the value of pi here which is 22 by 7 and this value cannot be changed anywhere in the program so let me show you if I do here pi is equal to pi plus 1 you are going to you are going to change the value of pi anywhere in the program and if you run the program what the output will be okay the output is going to be nothing means you will be generated an error that is a duplicate definition means you have already declared this as constant so the constant value cannot be changed so so if you do it this way pi into r into r means the formula is pi r square and display it area of circle is area always note that the variable here should always be the variable over here 
these variables must match means you have processed the values over here in this variable so that variable must be used for displaying as well else your result is going to be zero so let us see that works or not if i print a instead of area what the output is going to be the prompt is to enter the radius so let me enter 15 see the output is going to be zero there is no value in a if you display area now okay 7 is the radius and you see that the area of the circle is 154 that is generated as output okay that is a very important statement CUNST for declaring constant variables now I shall move to read data statement read data is also one of the input statements means not actually input statement means you are not going to supply any value from the keyboard but rather you will give a data set to the user rather the data set will be provided to the user and then using read statement the values will be accessed by some variables like let me show you an example read a b and c <coughs> and print the values of a b and c simultaneously while you shall provide a data set of values here this way okay now if you run this there will be nothing but the output of displaying 10 15 and 14 only as you can see that okay means you are reading some values whenever the interpreter sees this statement read it will be searching for this statement name data whether there are some values in the data set or not now again if you are to read the data again using some other variables you shall require this statement named restore so that the values can again be accessed by some other data variables so this way you will be accessing the data set with some other variables as well let me show you see the output is displayed twice means you have read the data using this statement a b and c once while again the statement using d e and f instead if you don't use this restore you will see that there is some error generated that is out of data there are only three data here and you are accessing using six variables so the error is generated that is out of data in order to prevent uh, this sort of errors you shall use this statement name as a restore the statement provides you facility to reread the data again so this is also one of the very important statements of QVC you shall know read data whenever read is read by the interpreter it checks for this data statement and then this restore statement is used to re-initialize the values to some other variables and you have already seen the error that is generated in case more than the variables are used more than the data set then out of data error is generated so this is it for today we'll be looking from for some other programs or some other statements in the coming videos thank you please do like and subscribe my videos thank you